Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pie King Carter, the Superman of YouTube. This is my 31st fight, man. I'm going up against Rich Franklin in a light heavyweight division. Um, a little bit of background story on Rich Franklin. This guy has been a middleweight champ only for about a year after he lost to Silva. He moved up to light heavyweight, but he had to move back down to middleweight um, just to fight in UFC 148. Now, to tell you the truth, I think he's a good fighter just because of the simple fact that he was a champ. Um, he has very good stand-up and ground game as well. Um, but you know me, man. This is a game. I'm playing on advanced difficulty, and I am a beast. <laughs> um, I love this game, though. I'm not even going to lie, man. Um, I still play it to this day. I play regular matches. I haven't got to play online yet because I'm waiting to get a new mic. I'm thinking about getting a Turtle Beach mic, but uh, if you guys you know, know any uh, gaming headsets out there that are better, let me know in the comment section, man, because um, I had Turtle Beaches before, but I cracked them. And I had uh, Tritons, but I think I broke the mic. For some reason, who makes a detachable mic? That's just stupid. But, but you know, let me get into the match a little bit. The first thing I wanted to start out with was combinations just to see, you know, get a feel for where he was. And he was killing me with head kicks and, and straight lefts and rights. So you already know what I had to do, man. I had to get to the ground with this guy. And you know that's where I stay. I love ground and pounding. I'm not a submission guy, but I do love the ground and pound. And the reason I love ground and pounding is because it's the shit. <laughs> you feel me? Who doesn't love ground and pounding? Now, check this out. This guy throws me into submission, and look what I do. I go right into the damn submission like an a-hole, man. But, you know, I'm going to try to fight out of it. It looks pretty tight. When I, when he first got me in it, I was like, oh, my goodness, this fight is over. I'm done, and, and it's a wrap. But it is what it is. Now, um... I have something that I want to ask you guys. I know it's going to be kind of crazy. I know you guys are like, oh my god, I probably want to ask us a question. Nah, um, I'm still learning new moves and I'm still upgrading my attributes and stuff like that, right? So what I want from you guys is, I know that it's a lot of you guys out here that play this game and watch my videos. I want to know what moves are the best moves on the game. Like, you know, right now I have a nice little judo throw. I have a high kick, I have an uppercut, um, I have elbows and a half guard. You know, I don't have many moves in my arsenal, so I'm still upgrading. And I want to know what you guys think, you know, what type of moves I should get. And also, which ones work. Not, you know, just crazy amazing moves where I would have to do a whole button, bunch of button mashing just to get them off. I want to learn actually good moves that work in the UFC because what I want to do is, I want to slow down the way I fight. Because, you know, sometimes... I come out and I start getting tagged early and then I just take it to the ground and then the fight gets, you know, ended up gets finished real, real early. So I actually want to take it slow to the point where it really looks and depicts like a real UFC fight. You know, I know and, and I know one thing is funny. A lot of UFC fights end early. But, you know, that's just to, you know, because people underestimating the other fighters, you know, strength, speed and stuff like that. If you come out punching like a madman and you get caught with a hit, that's not my fault. <laughs> you feel me? But I want to, you know, go go to later rounds. I want to go to championship rounds. And I want to make the fights look realistic, man. And that's just that simple. So if you guys can help me out, hit me up in the comment section. And let me know what it's all about. I'll be, I'll be thankful. Now, my corner was telling me that I need to keep the fight standing. Me being the a-hole that I am... I don't like the fight standing. I like getting on the ground. And and the funny thing is, my fighting style isn't groundwork. My fighting style is actually Muay Thai. I'm supposed to be up against the cage, giving elbows and knees, and, you know, living in the clinch. And I barely do any of that. So what I want to do is I actually want to change that as well. I want to start clinching more and start doing more, you know, good moves. You feel me? In the clinch. Now, in this round, you already know what I was trying to do. I was trying to bait the guy in, get him tired, you know, stuff like that. And I get charged in with a takedown. I didn't even have time to, you know, block his transition or a takedown. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, another judo takedown goes for me. I'm scoring a ton of points. Points I can get. But what I want to do is I want to have some type of, I don't know, how should I say it? Man? I want the fight to look crazy realistic, man. Now, if you notice here, I posture up. Every single time I posture up and throw a nice shot, he blocks it, like no matter what I do. So, what I want to do as well is get my ground game up, get my uh, striking on the ground up, you know, things of that nature. Now, I pulled myself into a full guard, which was an asshole move. I don't know why I did that because 
I'm not that great when it comes to the ground defense. So now he's on top of me, hit me with crazy shots. I'm looking like the dickhead <laughs> that got down in full guard. But I'm still trying to push this guy off. And I finally managed to get him off. So you already know what I'm about to do. I'm throwing nice little combinations. Get my head kicks up there. That head kick is massive too, man. Like that head kick is strong. Like even when they don't see it coming. I mean, well, even if they do see it coming, it still doesn't matter. Like. I've caught a guy throwing, I think he threw like a three punch combination before, and I caught him with a head kick, and he got real groggy, you know what, I went in for the kill, because that was what I had to do, so, you know, it is what it is, now I mount up again, he pulls me down like it ain't nothing, I'm trying to get all different types of, you know, uh, ah, there we go, uh, see, I can't get it, man, every time I try, I try to get a full mount, I try to posture up, and I cannot go in for the kill no matter how hard I try this guy is blocking everything now <laughs> it's funny because he rolled over I got his back then he immediately rolled back over so you can tell what type of fight this is going to be this is more tactical than anything because I thought that this was going to be an easy fight I was going to come in get the knockout put him down but that's not the way this fight is going this guy is good with the transitions good with the blocking and he even can throw shots while on the ground on his back so you already know what that means, man. The second round is almost up. I can't do anything. So let's get into the third round, man. North South position. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. We saw some decent groundwork in that second round, Joe. Yeah, these guys are very active on the ground. One mistake in this final round, and either fighter could. Man, I'm not worried about that. All right, they want me to keep the fight standing. I don't feel like keeping the fight standing. You know what? That might be the only thing I can do, man. This fight, the entire time, has been pissing me off. I got a cut under his eye. I can't get a punch off on the ground. Now, look at this. Look at this straight left. Whew. That thing was crazy. All right. I'm done. Let me out of here. We at the Mandalay Bay. What up, Brittany? How you doing, mommy? Oh, you, you blowing kisses to me now? Thank you. Rosenthal, what up? You ready to see a knockout, baby? All right, let's do this. High kick. Ah, good block. Come on, jab, jab. I ah, got you in the clinch, boy. Uh oh, you don't want these knees? Oh, you almost stuffed my judo throw. Come on. Let me get this position real quick. Got to get the dominant position. There we go. Muay Thai. Oh, nice block. Come on, one more. Ah, I cannot get this Muay Thai knee. All right, got you with the judo throw. Half guard. Ah, you in the full guard. Ah, posture up. Yeah, I knew you was going to kick me off. It's okay. High kick. Uh-oh. Come on. You don't want this high kick. You want another one? Ah, ooh, nice double. Whoa, throwing these haymakers, bro. Come on. Come on. Ah, this dude keeps getting me in over under. All right, got the double under hooks. Here we go. Nice trip. Let's go. Come on. Just go down for goodness sake. Ah, good way to push me off. High kick. Ooh, nice block. Ah, come on. I got to stuff it. Fuck. All right. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm on my back. I'm keeping my composure, man. Let's go. Ah, block the high kick once again. Nice over top, man. Oh, hold on. Hold him. This boy hit me with a two-piece. No biscuit. Ah, come on. Come on. I'm trying to get to this dominant position, but he not. Oh, but he gets to it, right? Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Double underhooks. Got his back. Come on. Yes, throw you on your neck, boy. Come on. Ah, uh, let me get a half guard one good time. Get off of me. God damn. All right, I'm in a half guard. Posture up. Let me get these elbows off. Ah. Come on. He's dead tired. How is he still blocking? Come on. Yo, either this dude is a defensive force or this is a glitch. Come on, dude. Like, I'm throwing... Elbow after uh, there we go. I, I landed one, landed two. Come on, come on. Ah, how did he pop me in full guard that fast? High kick. Oh, he stuffed my leg. Oh, high kick. Come on, one more time. One more time. If I get you to the ground one more time, I know it's over. Come on, come on. Judo throw. Oh, he stuffed it. Fuck. Come on, I gotta get up. Get up. All right, come on. Whoa, high kick. Damn, he took me down again. This fight is over. I ain't gonna be able to get no damn knockout with this guy. All right, high kick, high kick, high kick. Oh, shit. He done. He done. He done. Damn, I caught him with a last second high kick. 
That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, get hype. Get hype. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> That's what's up. I got to see that replay, man. Come on. Look at this. Oh, he was trying to throw a shot. Okay. That's why I called him. Ew, he felt like a tree, too. Timber. Ew, look at that. Look at that. Block. Well, it wasn't even a block on the jab. It's just the animation called him. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Boom. Lights out, my man. See ya. <laughs> Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 56 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, David the King. The King is the winner. Yo, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you love these UFC videos, man, throw these joints a like. You know, hit me up in the comment section. Also, hit me up on Twitter, y'all, at iPod Carter. I'm always around, man. They come straight to the iPhone. Peace. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? If y'all want to see some more crazy knockouts, click on any video on the screen that you see. Also, hit me up on Twitter at iPod King Carter. You can um, hit me up on Facebook as well at iPod King Carter page. Click on more videos, man. My career playlist is right there. Hit me up. Also, subscribe. <laughs>